On the tracks of street outlaws, looks can be deceiving. Though most racers tend to invest in sleek and fast cars, some others just don't see the need. People like Farm Truck, one of the original 405 casts, fall into the latter category. For people like Farm Truck, racing is an art, something that should be enjoyed. This inspired some of the most creative builds that he had on the tracks and was a major hook for his fans, who were eager to see what he would do next. Along the line, however, Farm Truck disappeared from the tracks of the original Street Outlaws, which rattled his fans all around. The thought of not having him in the show wasn't just acceptable. It might just take out all the good humor. Well, let's find out what actually happened to Farm Truck. When we talk about people who are truly invested in racing, then we have to point to Sean Whitley, who was nicknamed Farm Truck. For Farm Truck, winning wasn't all there was to racing. This mindset made him opt for unconventional vehicles that had everyone talking. His car is the iconic 1997 C10 Chevy pickup truck, which he has been racing in since the 1990s. Farm Truck was born on the 29th of March, 1966, and became vested in racing at a really tender age. While other kids might have been carried away by birthday parties and the like, Sean was already honing his driving skills. All indications support that he must have grown up in a farm settlement. Farm Truck's interest in racing likely began with local drag strips or perhaps even impromptu street races. The thrill of speed, the roar of the engine, and the competitive spirit were elements that likely fueled his desire to get behind the wheel of a high-performance machine. Not many details are available on his parents, but they were definitely instrumental in his development and move to racing. For starters, Sean learned how to drive in his mother's 1974 Dodge Dart. And being on the streets of Oklahoma, he joined the street racing gang he saw around and has been there ever since. When he first started, Sean was a force to reckon with on the tracks, conforming to the idea of always being the first to reach the finish line. Over the years, this was his goal and aspiration, and the only way for him to build credibility on the streets. He entered the racing scene in his father's 1973 Ford pickup truck, while he worked on getting one of his own. This dream materialized in the form of a rather unlikely champion, a 1970 Chevy C10 long bed truck. This wasn't your average farm hauler. Farm truck saw the potential beneath the rusty exterior. He began meticulously modifying the truck, transforming it into a sleeper vehicle that looks unassuming, but packs a serious punch under the hood. Having this car revealed that Farm Truck has a rather unique taste when it comes to cars and racing. Though having the Chevy pickup truck was a unique touch that made him stand out among the muscle cars that are common with other racers, being able to actually compete became a hassle. The car was just too heavy to face other vehicles. When Farm Truck got the 1970 Chevy C10 long bed truck, he modified what was under the hood heavily. It could simply beat any other regular car out on the streets hands down in a race. But along the line, he wanted to have something different from the shiny and sleek build that is popular on the tracks. So while he modified his vehicle, he maintained the original chassis and body of the vehicle. Though there's not much information about Farm Truck's early life, we can assume that growing up around engines and farm equipment sparked his passion for mechanics and eventually for racing. This also influenced his style and idea of racing. While others were out to win, he was out to have fun and satisfy his fantasies, which included racing in an old farm vehicle. We can imagine a young farm truck spending hours in his garage, poring over car magazines, and dreaming of building a car that could dominate the track. Details about the specifics of his early builds are scarce, but we know Farm Truck poured his heart and soul into his projects. He wasn't afraid to get his hands dirty, and his mechanical skills would become legendary. Farm Truck's dedication didn't go unnoticed. Local racing circuits started to take notice of this underdog truck that was leaving more expensive, flashier cars in the dust. His unique taste in racing vehicles got a constantly growing fan base, who always wanted to see the possibility of a seemingly regular car beating the flashier race vehicles. 
Farm Truck's reputation eventually caught the attention of some other aspiring racers like AZN. Farm Truck helped AZN find his place in the racing tracks of Oklahoma, and they have remained really close friends ever since. Farm Truck's taste in vehicles also rubbed off on him. The two discovered a shared passion for racing and a knack for building incredible machines. A partnership was born, and together they became Farm Truck and AZN, a force to be reckoned with. Along the line, Farm Truck caught the attention of the producers of a new reality show called Street Outlaws and was among the 405 gang that first appeared on the show in 2013. The show, which focused on the underground street racing scene in Oklahoma City, was looking for colorful characters and high-performance vehicles, and Farm Truck fit the bill perfectly. We have to admit that the success of the TV series over the years is tied to the personalities of the racers, as much as it is tied to the thrills of the race itself. Each person has something that they bring to the table, which fans of the show have found fascinating and will surely miss if they were to live the show. This was what exactly happened when Farm Truck was nowhere to be found on the show. People started asking questions, wanting to know what must have happened to their favorite. That aside, Street Outlaws became quite an event, and Farm Truck rocketed to fame. Viewers were captivated by their underdog story, his infectious personality, and of course, his incredible truck. Farm Truck's rusty C10, affectionately nicknamed Farm Truck, became a fan favorite, proving that speed and power can come in unexpected packages. Farm Truck's impact on street outlaws goes beyond wins and races. He, along with AZN, inspired a generation of gearheads to embrace the underdog spirit and see more to racing than just winning on the tracks. Over the years, we have seen Farm Truck's passion for mechanics grow, pushing him to create some of the most amazing builds in the show. This was how he transformed a rusty Chevy C10 into a champion on the 405. We also saw his rise to fame on Street Outlaws alongside his partner AZN. It's just hard at the moment to imagine Street Outlaws without Farm Truck. However, Farm Truck's journey on Street Outlaws wasn't without its challenges. Aside from the constant risk of crashing and sustaining serious injuries on the track, there were periods when Farm Truck, along with his partner AZN, seemed to be less involved in the show's main events. Speculations swirled about disagreements with production or the show's direction, but this was far from it. While the old Chevy truck that Sean used was unique and was a major attraction for his fans, it was basically too heavy to compete on the tracks. For Farm Truck, he wasn't so disturbed since he wasn't so keen on winning in the first place. But for other racers who were in the game for the thrill, it was kind of a deal-breaker. Other racers put so much effort into seeing that their cars are the fastest on the tracks, constantly improving to make sure that they beat the next person they face on the track. But with Farm Truck's unique approach to racing, it was almost certain that he would lose. This became boring for the rest of the crew. Over the following competitions, Farm Truck, along with his sidekick AZN, started seeing less racing time. Other racers didn't just see the point of racing them on the tracks when it was almost certain that they would come out behind in every race. Farm Truck and AZN spoke about this in a video that they released following the relegation. This was where we got to see their ideology on full display. Farm Truck mentioned that for all other racers, racing has always summed up to beating the next opponent on the track. But for him, he was more inclined to explore the possibilities, making him see racing as an art. With the hostility they were facing in the original show, Farm Truck and AZN started to get creative, deciding to take a step back from the original Street Outlaws to create something that would align more with their idea of racing. All through the struggle, we got to see the resilience and determination that Farm Truck is made of. Despite his advancement in age, he was still ready to leave a mark that would resonate with people in years to come and most importantly have fun while doing that. In 2022, Farm Truck and AZN got together and did a thing for themselves. They started their own spin-off show, Street Outlaws, Farm Truck and AZN. This show gave them more control over the narrative 
and allowed them to showcase their unique approach to car building and racing in more depth. Street Outlaws Farm Truck and AZN is a thrilling spin-off of the popular Street Outlaws series, which looks into the adventurous and often eccentric escapades of two of the franchise's most beloved personalities. Farm Truck and AZN, known for their unique vehicles and humorous yet competitive nature, carved out their own niche in the street racing world. This show not only highlights their racing skills, but also their determination to remain true to their idea of racing. Street Outlaws Farm Truck and AZN was conceived as a spin-off to give fans a closer look at the duo's antics, projects, and races. Premiering in 2022, the show focuses on their life beyond the races, exploring their workshop, innovative projects, and various racing adventures across the country. The premise revolves around their efforts to surprise, entertain, and sometimes outwit their fellow racers and competitors with their ingenuity and sheer love for all things automotive. While they were on the show, they made some unique builds that were simply out of this world, taking it as an opportunity to explore all the fantasies that they couldn't in the original show. One of the highlights of Street Outlaws, Farm Truck and AZN, is the duo's endless creativity in building and modifying vehicles. Each episode often showcases a new project, ranging from practical modifications to outlandish and entertaining creations. Their workshop becomes a playground for innovation, where they bring to life some of the most bizarre and ingenious automotive ideas. Among their notable projects is the Dung Beetle, a Volkswagen Beetle that AZN inherited from his father. This car, much like the farm truck, is a sleeper vehicle that packs a surprising punch. Their goal with the Dung Beetle, as with many of their projects, is to combine nostalgia with high performance capabilities, creating a vehicle that is both sentimental and competitive. Another memorable project is the Farm Bird, a Pontiac Firebird transformed into a beastly street racer. The Farm Bird showcases their ability to take classic cars and infuse them with modern power and performance, all while retaining the vehicle's original charm. Each build reflects their deep understanding of automotive mechanics and their passion for creating unique, high-performance vehicles. Street Outlaws, Farm Truck and AZN has made a significant impact on the automotive and street racing communities. The show resonates with fans who appreciate the duo's authenticity, humor, and passion for cars. Their willingness to think outside the box and tackle unconventional projects has inspired many viewers to pursue their own automotive dreams. Beyond the entertainment factor, Street Outlaws, Farm Truck and AZN offers educational insights into automotive mechanics and engineering. Each episode provides a detailed look at the processes involved in building and modifying high-performance vehicles. From engine upgrades to aerodynamic adjustments, viewers gain a deeper understanding of the technical aspects of car customization. The show often highlights the problem-solving skills required to tackle complex automotive challenges. Farm Truck and AZN's ability to diagnose issues, brainstorm solutions, and execute their plans is a valuable lesson in engineering and creativity. This educational component sets the show apart from purely entertainment-focused reality TV, offering viewers practical knowledge they can apply to their automotive projects. Unfortunately, things didn't quite work out for the duo for too long. For some reason, the spin-off didn't garner the same level of success as the Main Street Outlaws show. It was short-lived, but it did show Farm Truck's dedication to the racing community and his passion for sharing his knowledge and skills. For those wondering why the show ended just about a year after it started, we have this featured review from one of the viewers that pretty much sums up everything. The viewer wrote, I love watching Diesel Brothers and Twin Turbo. They have brilliant minds, are very knowledgeable and build beautiful vehicles. There is also that Canadian show with those crazy people with a junkyard, Rust Valley Restorers. I would kill to have one of those vehicles. Most are one of a kind genius build vehicles. I am not exactly sure what farm truck and Azen show is. Are they on drugs? They have an idea to build a tow behind camper into a drivable vehicle. Is it roadworthy? Legal? Is it insured? Quit building crap. You could build rocket or drag racing cars and sell them. 
People would buy those. I just don't get it and won't be watching. Turns out that the builds that we were seeing from the spin-off were just too ridiculous to hold the fan base. So the show had to close its doors due to declining viewership. With Street Outlaws, Farm Truck and AZN ended, the duo had to find their way back to their original crew. Outside the tracks, Farm Truck has gone into other ventures, taking advantage of his growing fan base. All along, Jeff has been by his side, helping him reach his goals. While racing remains a big part of Farm Truck's life, it's not his only project. Farm Truck, along with AZN, operates his own automotive shop called Farm Truck and AZN Shop. This allows them to share their expertise with customers and work on other interesting builds. Farm Truck and AZN Shop isn't just a business. It's a hub for car enthusiasts. The duo regularly interacts with fans, offering advice and fostering a sense of community. They also feature an online store where they sell vintage accessories for cars and also customized wares. Farm Truck understands the importance of his fans. He, along with AZN, maintains an active presence on social media, particularly YouTube. Their channel features behind-the-scenes content, race updates, and even comedic skits that showcase their personalities. The Farm Truck and AZN YouTube channel allows fans to connect with them on a personal level. It's a testament to Farm Truck's commitment to his fans and his desire to keep them engaged in his world. Since Jeff became acquainted with Sean, Sean has become a father figure for him, following the tragedy and difficult times he has also been through. Luckily, he has been able to grow significantly since they both have been working together and is even on track for more improvements. It's important to acknowledge that Farm Truck hasn't had the smoothest ride. Outside the struggles that he had with street outlaws, there have been other issues that have come up. There have been health concerns, including the revelation from Jeff that he might be in a battle with Bell's palsy. As you would expect, this has impacted his ability to participate in racing at times. Farm Truck has faced these challenges head on, and to the delight of fans, he has shown incredible resilience. He's back on the track and continues to push the boundaries of what his truck can achieve. He doesn't show any sign of slowing down and we are ready to see him get back to the game. So, what does the future hold for Farm Truck? While it's clear that his passion for racing and car building remains strong, we are not really sure how long his body will hold. Age is starting to take a toll on the man. For the meantime, we can expect him to continue pushing the limits of his C10, exploring new builds at the Farm Truck and AZN shop, and engaging with his fans. Farm Truck's story is an inspiration to anyone who dreams of achieving the seemingly impossible. He's a reminder that hard work, ingenuity, and a little bit of redneck engineering can take you far. Whether you're a die-hard Street Outlaws fan or simply appreciate a good underdog story, Farm Truck has a charm that has made a lot of people interested in his story. If he was ever to leave the show, people would surely miss that sprinkle of humor that he brings to the show. Farm Truck's journey is one to remember. He's a testament to the power of dedication, a reminder that sometimes the most unexpected vehicles can become legends. And he definitely won't be changing his idea about racing and that might just be what will keep his fans coming for more. If you're a fan of Farm Truck, you can still keep up with him on his YouTube channel and other social media platforms where he still keeps up to date on his latest projects and races. Who knows, maybe you'll even get a glimpse of the next incredible creation to roll out of the Farm Truck and AZN shop. Thanks for joining us on this exploration of Farm Truck's incredible story. Leave a comment below with your favorite Farm Truck moment and let us know what you think the future holds for this street out.